Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brain TCT, and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about if hospitals are an important upgrade. And hospitals, okay, so the thing with hospitals is that they're really expensive, so not a lot of people like to go for them. So the hospitals over here, um, they cost a lot to upgrade. So I've been slacking a little bit with upgrading hospitals just because. They're like, you can, if you upgrade all the hospitals once, you can pretty much upgrade your city hall once, which is insane, because that's how much it costs, especially when you um, get to like, to get all of them to 24, from 23 to 24, it costs like about like, probably 50 million of each, which is insane for just something as a hospital, but I would say that they are a very important upgrade. I've just been slacking with them a lot, and I've been forgetting to upgrade them, because when you run out of, so... When you get attacked or something, and let's say you get zeroed, these are going to be one of the most important things you can have because when you're getting zeroed, you need hospital capacity because you are pretty much, when you get zeroed, the only things that can fit in your hospitals are going to be the troops left. So if you have like 300,000 um, that can fit in your hospital, that's about how many troops you're going to have left. And if you have like 100,000, that's how many troops you're going to have left. So it's a really important thing to have, but it costs a lot. That's why it's so important. So... Um, I think that's one of the reasons why they made it so expensive. Um, so I have them to 20. These are 20s and I have 121. And it's about 200,000. But if... Oh, wait. All right. Yeah, that's... Okay, so if I got this, it would be like 30,000 extra. So I could probably have like 300,000. Um, I could have like 300,000 um, capacity just if I had all these maxed out, probably even more, which is really helpful, especially when you're getting a lot of severely wounded. Um, it's really important to have um, a big hospital, so that means that you don't have to wait as long, so you don't have to keep going back to your city and healing so that none of them die, which is really important to have. And also, if you guys are going to be using, um, if you guys are going to be going for, like, kill event or whatever, and you're attacking on the open field, you want to, you don't want to send much more than your hospital can carry, because... If you let's say like you send four hundred thousand out and you can only hold like a hundred thousand, if you're if you get more than a hundred thousand severely wounded, all the troops that can't fit in the hospital die. So they're really important to have. Um, and as it says, if you heal over here, and then it talks about all this, so you guys can read through this. I'm pretty sure I talked about this in a really long like a video maybe a few months ago. It was a while ago, but this is a this is um it, you guys can read that if you guys want to. It pretty much says everything that I just said right now. Um, also, there's also the healing speed runes, which can also be very important when um, when uh, going to heal your troops, because that means that you get you don't have to wait as long to heal all your troops. And along with um, I also uh, cavalry costs the most to heal. By the way, um, infantry and archers uh, don't cost as much, but Calvary costs the most to heal and um, Yes, that's pretty much all I can talk about in this video Make sure to leave a like and also subscribe if you guys are new here Tell me you guys thought about this video in the comments below and also if you guys um, like Rise of Kingdoms Then make sure to subscribe if you guys are new here and thank you so much for everyone staying to the end to watch this video And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys <laughs>